Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different and make a pillbox hat. So this is something that I saw on Pinterest several years ago and I thought oh that would be really cool to make and I thought it was probably a good time of the year to do that since this is definitely like a costume level quality hat um but i think it turned out really nice despite me having some issues <laughs> which you'll see so this is a no sew project and um you only really need a few things so i you need like material i went and thrifted a couple of skirts to use but the longer I've had these skirts, the more I realize how much I like this skirt in particular, and I kind of don't want to cut it because I love it so much. So I think I am going to save that one and we'll just make one. Well, clearly I made one. <laughs> so I was hoping to find a hound's tooth print skirt because I thought that would be very um cool, but I ended up finding this one and I like the pattern. It kind of does have a 1960s feel. Um, and you also need some cereal boxes. So I've been, I actually like save things like cereal boxes and toilet paper rolls to use for crafting. So I have like a big bag of this stuff in my building and then obviously you need a hot glue gun. Um, I also have this piping that I thrifted a while ago that I thought, oh, that would be perfect when I go to make the pillbox hat. So also the great thing about the skirt was it has a lining that I could use for the lining of the hat so it just worked out uh, really well so I decided to just trace a circle and that was gonna be my pattern so I just looked for something I found this cake stand and I thought okay I'm gonna try that so while I was doing this I had some cheesy 80s like Halloween movie on and I recognized a voice and I looked up and it was John Austin who played Gomez in the original <laughs> Adam's Family, which I've been watching a ton of lately, and I just thought it was really funny. I love when random people like pop up in random places. I just shared about Dick Sargent and Teen Witch being the dad a few videos ago. I don't know why, but I just felt like I had to share that. So I traced out my cardboard, cut it two circles, and then I also needed to cut out the strips for the side part, which I just kind of eyeballed and that's a theme <laughs> also I forgot that you need felt as well the original tutorial I saw I used felt for the whole hat but now I needed to cut around the one circle and like fold the tabs in to make something that the side pieces can attach to I just eyeballed this um, and it seemed to work out fine so then I just glued the side pieces down to the folded tabs with the glue gun. I also burned myself like a million times when I was doing this. So then I had to cut out the fabric, like the felt for the top part. So basically you're gonna do a layer of felt and then the skirt material over top. I guess just to add an extra little like layer of padding, this felt that I but I just found it at the dollar store and I did the same thing. I sort of snipped in a little around the edges to sort of create tabs that I could glue down. And again, I burnt myself a whole bunch of times. I feel like I have barely any feeling in the very tip of my index finger because I just did this last night. But anyway, then once I got that done, it was time to cut the skirt. The scissors I was using were not the sharpest, which <laughs> I definitely need to get a pair of like sewing scissors. But basically, I just did the same thing as I did with the felt. I just cut out strips for the side strips for or not a strip but a circle for the top and then i hot glued all of it down you make you cut it larger than the actual cardboard so that you have enough to like glue down around the sides i didn't really follow a tutorial for this at all i like i said i had seen this concept on pinterest a few years ago and i thought that's really cool but I couldn't actually find that original thing because so I guess I didn't save it. So midway through this, I did look for a tutorial 
just to see because I kind of just had it in my mind of I knew what I was going to do so if you're looking to do this yourself I recommend just looking up a tutorial and not following my direction but um, I glued the piping down I at this point was feeling so confident I was like this is so great this is so amazing I love this which I probably shouldn't have because then I realized that no this does not look right um, and that's because I didn't take into account that the first circle I was cutting into and making tabs so it was not um, they weren't the same size <laughs> which uh, at this point it was getting kind of late and I was really frustrated with myself for not doing that I almost said that's it this video is just I'm scrapping it I'm gonna have to film something different but then I was like, no, get it together. It's not that big of a deal. Make a new circle. So that is what I did off camera because at that point I was just so irritated. But basically I just did the same thing, but I cut out a smaller circle so that it would fit and be flush. Um, so here is what it looks like. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy that I did take the extra time to just redo the top circle. It wasn't that bad. I pulled the original one off before the glue was like really hard so and then off camera i also glued in the lining for the you know inside of the hat from the skirt lining which i think turned out fairly well i just sort of i don't know i didn't really have like an exact method for doing this i wasn't sure i'd cut out a big circle and then kind of pressed it in and then just folded the ends down and kind of glued it you know did that whole thing personally um i think it looks pretty good i'm planning on just using it like displaying it in my closet if you watch my closet video from a month or so ago now um i just kind of have some fun vintage things displayed in there and i thought this would be a cool thing to add uh john's a reseller so we had this foam head <laughs> downstairs so i just bored it so i could kind of photograph it but anyway my little cat marley she was so cute she was just sitting next to me the whole time i was doing this so i thought i would show her she's so sweet she's almost 18 years old i can hardly believe it but she's such a sweetheart so anyway that was me making a pillbox hat the only thing i didn't do is add in like clips if you were going to actually wear it which i don't think that i'm going to actually wear it but if in the future I actually make one, I think it wouldn't be that hard to make one like a better quality one, like sewing it that you could actually wear. So maybe in the future I'll do that, but it was fun to do. It wasn't, didn't take too long, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon.